someone has taken an interest in you, someone loves you, and they recognize the importance of education. And the first student selected, 20. Oh Nine. It takes a lot of outrage and a lot of good examples to say, yes, we can do this. When you see a great teacher, you are seeing a work of art. I want my kids to have better than what I had. 18. 10. 12. 2. And the last number. Hi guys, it's Micah Weston with Sidewalks TV. I'm here with Davis Guggenheim. He's the director of Inconvenient Truth. Um, it's getting loud in here. It might get loud. It might get loud. Yeah. I, I got, the, got that. And now Waiting for Superman, yeah. which is an amazing documentary you. that you just, just made. It's great um, to be on Sidewalks. Well, thank you. Thanks so much for being here. My pleasure. So what made you or inspired you to do education-based documentaries kind of showing what our school systems are like. Well, a lot of documentaries about our public schools are really boring. Mm -hmm. And they're, uh, oh, this problem is another problem, and it's never work. And I wanted to make a, a, a documentary that cut through all that. Mm -hmm. and so I've followed these kids who just want to find a great school. And they all end up in a lottery. So what I found out was, if there's a great school, usually there aren't enough spaces, and so they have a lottery. Yes. And so there's this competition to see who can get in the schools, and they literally pull numbers from hats or bingo baskets. And I said, this is incredible. This is totally unfair. Yeah. Uh, and we shouldn't have to play the lottery to get, to, to get into a great school. Mm -hmm. And these, these kids that you followed, how did you decide to choose the five individuals? There's Daisy, Bianca, um, Aunt Francisco, Francisco, Anthony. They're just these lovely kids, mm -hmm. and uh, they don't know the situations in front of them. Daisy just wants to be a doctor. And she's already written her, her college to say, please let me, and I'm in sixth grade, and she works really hard. Um, and she just thinks that she's gonna become a doctor. And her dad drives a truck, and he thinks she's gonna be a doctor. But if you really look at the schools that are in front of her, mm -hmm. we're gonna let her down. We as Americans are gonna let her down because the schools aren't teaching her the proper math. They're not going to get her into a four-year college. And by the time she's 16 or 17, she's going to go, wait a minute. You know, this ain't right. And I think when you look at our schools from that point of view, you have to feel a little bit of outrage. And you have to say, wait a minute, this isn't right. Why, why do you think Americans, we, we all know our school systems are failing our kids. Why do you think that we just kind of turn the other, other way and we don't focus on it? This is affecting, you know, our future. The amazing thing, I think, is that everybody wants good schools. It makes sense. It doesn't hurt anybody to have great schools for everybody. Mm -hmm. It helps the economy. A good school helps the price of your home and how safe your neighborhood is. But I think people just feel like it's impossible. It's just too complicated. We've tried and it's failed. And the good news is, is that now there's a new generation of reformers that have proven you can go in and fix a school. And you can give every kid, even if they're poor and even if mm -hmm. it's a terrible, po you know, impoverished neighborhood, you can give every kid a great education. So there's a lot of reason for hope. We just have to have the political will. We have to start to believe again. And that's what this movie is about, is to show that, to tell people to believe again that it's possible to give every kid a great education. So what can, you know, your everyday Joe Blow do to improve our schools? Well, the, the, everyone needs to get involved. And the secret is to be informed. A lot of people think they know what's going on, but they don't. So the first step is to go see this movie. It's mm -hmm. like an inconvenient truth. You see it and you go, oh, yeah, now I understand. The light bulb goes off yeah. and you go, now I understand the situation. Now that's not going to help you fix schools, but it's going to make you informed and make you motivated. And then you can go to our website, waitingforsuperman.com. There are lots of solutions to do it. And, then, and once you feel motivated, there's a thousand things you can do. You can become a great teacher. You can help teachers. You can mentor a kid. You can become a reformer. You can run for school board. There's a thousand ways. The problem is we don't have enough committed people to fix our schools.